no, this is not the end of the video. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that 350Z did not have a chance against the uh, skyline, but hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Southdown Garage. My name is Kurt, and today we're at the track with the Explorer. We're gonna see how far into the 11s we can go today. Let's get out there and get some fun times. Done two runs so far, 11.93 and 11.95. Third run also launched later, so I had a, a 2400 RPM launch. So with a 11.95 on that kind of a launch, it was a slow 60 foot, a slow zero to 60. So I'm kind of excited to see what this thing is doing. Again, we're, we're on the E50 exact blend and we're gonna see what this thing does. And next track day, hopefully, we'll have a way to put the power down without hopping, and we can try the trans brake at the track and actually get quicker. But not today, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be that psycho. So we're just gonna work on launch control and try to see if we can get our 60 foot better and our launch better and that's pretty much all you can do. No, this is not the end of the video, but I just wanted to point out, yes, Hellcat and Trackhawk owners, get used to these taillights and pick yourself up a t-shirt at our merch store. I'm sure you're grabbing the keys and smashing and being like, if he drove properly, you would have lost. I may have done an 1182 tonight. Did I actually do an 1182 or was Draggy wrong? Let's take a look at this video. When light turns on for Utah Mooney, Kurth North up a little bit too eager. Bye for now.